Welcome to the Liturgy of the Hours, a tradition of prayer whose origins date from the time of King David. The Liturgy of the Hours is the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God. This is morning prayer for the Tuesday before Epiphany. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, our mighty God. To the Lord, and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Come, let us worship the Lord, our mighty God. Lord, send forth your light and your truth. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against a godless nation. From deceitful and cunning men, rescue me, O God. Since you, O God, are my stronghold, why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? O send forth your light and your truth. Let these be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy. My Redeemer, I will thank you on the harp. O God, my God, why are you cast down my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Almighty Father, source of everlasting light, send forth your truth into our hearts, and pour over us the brightness of your light. Lord, send forth your light and your truth. Lord, keep us safe all the days of our life. Once I said, In the noontime of life I must depart. To the gates of the netherworld I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. 
I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men among those who dwell in the world. My dwelling, like a shepherd's tent, is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. Day and night you give me over to torment. I cry out until the dawn. Like a lion he breaks all my bones. Day and night you give me over to torment. Like a swallow I utter shrill cries. I moan like a dove. My eyes grow weak, gazing heavenward. O Lord, I am in straits. Be my surety. You have preserved my life from the pit of destruction when you cast behind your back all my sins. For it is not the netherworld that gives you thanks, nor death that praises you. Neither do those who go down into the pit await your kindness. The living, the living give you thanks, as I do today. Fathers declare to their sons, O God, your faithfulness. The Lord is our Savior. We shall sing to stringed instruments in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Lord, keep us safe all the days of our life. To you, O God, our praise is due in Zion. To you, our praise is due in Zion, O God. To you we pay our vows, you who hear our prayer. To you all flesh will come with its burden of sin, too heavy for us, our offenses, but you wipe them away. Blessed is he whom you choose and call to dwell in your courts. We are filled with the blessings of your house, of your holy temple. You keep your pledge with wonders, O God our Savior, the hope of all the earth and of far distant isles. You uphold the mountains with your strength. You are girded with power. You still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of the waves, and the tumult of the peoples. The ends of the earth stand in awe at the sight of your wonders. The lands of sunrise and sunset you fill with your joy. You care for the earth, give it water. You fill it with riches. Your river in heaven brims over to provide its grain. And thus you provide for the earth. You drench its furrows, you level it, soften it with showers, you bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness. Abundance flows in your steps. In the pastures of the wilderness it flows. The hills are girded with joy. The meadows covered with flocks. The valleys are decked with wheat. They shout for joy. Yes, they sing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Lord God, hope of all the earth, hear the humble prayer of your children as we sing your praises. Pour out your Spirit on us, so that our lives may bear fruit abundantly. Say to daughter Zion, your Savior comes. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. They shall be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord.
The Word was made man, full of grace and truth. He lived among us. From his fullness we all have received gift upon gift of his love. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. The Word was made man, full of grace and truth. He lived among us. From his fullness we all have received gift upon gift of his love. Alleluia. Let us joyfully invoke the Son of God, our Redeemer, who became man in order to restore man. Be with us, Emmanuel. Jesus, Son of the living God, King of glory, and Son of the Virgin Mary, brighten this day with the glory of your incarnation. Jesus, Wonder Counselor, Mighty God, Father of the future, Prince of Peace, direct our lives according to the holiness of your human nature. Jesus, all-powerful, patient, obedient, meek and humble of heart, show the power of your gentleness to all. Jesus, Father of the poor, immeasurable goodness, our way and our life, grant your church the spirit of poverty. Be with us, Emmanuel. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, when your Son was born of the Virgin Mary, he became like us in all things but sin. May we who have been reborn in him be free from our sinful ways. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This has been Morning Prayer for the Tuesday before Epiphany. Morning Prayer is produced in Dallas, Texas, and brought to you by the Confraternity of Penitents. Sacred music is provided by the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles. I'm David Rollins. Join us again weekdays as we continue to pray the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God, the Liturgy of the Hours. <laughs>